Long day lay me low. All right, everybody. What are we doing today? We're doing Howard the Duck. Yeah. Um, I've had this sketch cover for a little bit, and uh, you know. I was a little nervous working on this one, mainly because uh, I only have the one Howard the Duck sketch cover, and uh, he's kind of a kooky character, you know, and so I wanted to do him justice and draw him in my style uh, and uh, have a little fun with him. I drew this on a stream with JJ Bot. Everybody go check his channel out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. People were drawn. It's a draw stream. We have we talk, we jabber, and uh, we enjoy life. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going in. This one I did pen and ink, uh, the Dr. P.H. Martin's Black Star Matte Ink. And the Hunt 102 mapping nib uh, with the Takichawa Takichawa nib holder. Um, I often buy I buy uh, quite a few of the nib holders because they tend to I tend to break them. Uh, I also break the nibs too, to tell you the truth. But um, that's why I buy a lot of them. But yeah, so uh, the the paper took to it really well. I was really happy with it. And I also do go in with a little bit of brush work. Oh, one thing uh, I talk real fast, and then I'm like I get I don't know, I get I don't know I have to swallow. But anyway. Um, I, I'm mumbling again. Uh, yeah, so the paper held up really well. I was happy about that. And uh, I did actually add color to the bill, which I... I don't know why I did it. I stopped recording, and then I was like, maybe I should color the bill. And I colored the bill. So there's a little yellow. You'll see it on the pan down. It looks nice. I like it. I wish I had recorded it so you could see me actually doing a little color work because I usually just do the pen and ink. But, um, yeah, adding my cross hatches, my little scratchy lines and, and stuff like that. And I initially didn't have pants on them, and I'm like, yeah, it's a little too... Um, uh daffy duck or or something like that so i was like uh yeah i'll, I'll put pants on them and plus howard the duck does wear pants but uh it, it still uh, it came out came out fine i actually had to do a little extra texturing and stuff and i had the white out to you know fix some of those areas and stuff like that so uh that's the reason why i didn't want to color the whole piece and i didn't color the whole piece because i have uh some uh peach martin's bleed proof white on there so it would it, if i did i don't know if it would color over i don't know how well it would have worked so i just didn't do it but i probably could have it would have been good uh, the paper held to it and i always put a backing board underneath the cover so that way it doesn't bleed through and onto the comic itself but uh but yeah this one was a lot of fun i enjoyed it uh I gave him a gun because he's in you know, these cases i mean it's an unrealistic gun but i gave him a gun and uh uh you know it's his classic cigar i had a little uh, background to it like a little a gradient type background to make him stand out a little more and added a, a white outline to that and some some hairs on his duck thing and some f fur I guess fur feather fur yeah but yeah it came out good i enjoyed it and uh here you go here's the pan see there's that yellow beak but i really hope you like this one i enjoyed doing it. so there you have it everybody howard the duck that one was a lot of fun enjoyed it uh, thank you for watching please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this content also uh and i read all the comments i usually comment back so if you feel like you can comment, I'd appreciate that. Also, check out Frog G in your way out. Link will be in the description below, along with my retina, this pigment toaster thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, watch the trailer on your way out. That's something you can do too. Uh, done by Pedro Eng and voiced over by Death Metal Hero. So uh, it's a great trailer. And once again, have a great one. We've all read the story. The brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess, sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he loved.